Hey, what's up, Austin? Uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your 89 Savers Count Dooku. Um, I just wrapped this thing up. So I got all the sound fonts put on it that you wanted. Um, that was one of the last things. And then I had a little bit of fit and finish uh, that I was fighting at the very end, but I got it done. Uh, this hilt always presents a bit of a challenge. Obviously it's curved, right? So you don't, um, you know, I, I put the, uh, the battery in the board up here in the straight part, and then I put the uh, the recharge port and the speaker uh, back here in this straight part, and then this is for um, some wire management. I have a lot of wires coiled up right here um, because obviously I have these two parts, you know, they're uh, they're spread apart while I'm wiring everything up, and then I kind of coil everything up and put it in at the very end, and that's how you get to your board also. Um, Getting to the board on this guy is, is a huge pain. Um, that's just the nature of, of this of this hilt design as far as, uh, you know, it's, it's just been my experience anyway. But to get to the board, you would take this screw out right here and this one out, and then you're, you have a blade retention screw right here. Those three come out and then this whole claw assembly pops off. And once you do that, you can take this back piece and just carefully kind of twist it off and your board is right there. Um, so if you ever need to get it, if you ever need to get to the board in the future, that's how you do that. And then very carefully, uh, put the wires back in, slap this on and then put the claw on. You will have especially a hard time with this screw right here. Um, it is not lined up properly to the hole. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's, it's going in the hole, right? Exactly how it should, but the head of the screw and the countersink on the claw piece do not uh, match up. So um, I was fighting that for a long time to get that in there. Um, everything else lined up, but the countersink didn't. So that, uh, you know, I don't know if you had problems getting that on before because this thing came to me all disassembled. But um, that was a beast. So got that on, got this red button on. Uh, this is just for aesthetics. Uh, I did super glue it on. I use um, some rapid fuse super glue to put this on. There's really no other way to do it. You just have to use some sort of adhesive. You could see where the adhesive that was used on it before had come off, obviously. Um, so you just might want to be careful with that guy. The, uh, the rapid fuse that I use, it works really well. Um, but depending on what you're going to do with this, you know, just want to watch out for it. Uh, this is a one button setup. So your main activation switch is under here. Um, I do a lot of modifications to this gold piece in order to get that that uh, that brass tactile switch under there to work properly. So that's all in there. It's not coming out. You've got uh, CC Sabers LED pixels in here, and this takes a 7 8 inch blade. And I have a little 7 8 test blade that we'll throw in in a second. Um, to get to the recharge port and, and to your kill key, um, you want to unscrew this gold greebly right here. Um, I've just got it kind of loose so I can do it with my fingers, but when I send it to you, I'm going to tighten it all the way up with the uh, with the Allen wrench. So that'll pop off. Once you get that that gold greebly off right there, you can just take this cap off. It just it's snug, but it does come off. And then you've got uh, your kill key right here. So this is a normal kill key that I had that I had to modify a little bit in order to take some of the height off so that I could get clearance for this guy to go all the way in. Um, you can see, you got your uh, recharge port. I'll just pull your kill key right now. So you got your recharge port there. Um, you've got vents for your uh, for your sound resonance, and then uh, so that that kill key or that recharge port's right here. All the way back here is where your speaker's at. Um, I put it as far back as I could before I hit that bend, so that I could get all of this for sound resonance before it came out of this uh, of all these holes right here. And it sounds really good. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll slap this back on so that you can hear what the Sabre sounds like when it's fully assembled. And then I'll show you a little um, something else I noticed when I was putting this on as well. I'm not even going to screw in the gold greebly. We're just going to leave it like that. When you slide this on, this piece right here is part of this piece. So when you're coming up to these black, this black rubber grip, you're going to want to make sure you kind of push it down with your finger as this is going across it so it doesn't catch this because it will if you don't do that. Um, 
It feels like it's a, this rubber piece feels like it's a little bit worn. This doesn't look like it was a new saber. It, 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 it's kind of looking like you had it for a while. I don't know if you bought it off someone, but um, it, it's looking like it's seen a little bit of action. Um, you know, but it, that simple step right there will make sure that that goes over that, that rubber piece. And then uh, we turn it on with this right here. Nice smooth swing. LEDs are lighting up really well like they should. Flash on clash. Since this is a one button setup, you just tap the button for blaster deflex. And we hold it down to turn the blade off. And we're gonna throw a seven eighths inch um, blade in so that you can see that everything lights up like it should. I'm not swinging it too crazy. Uh, because I didn't put that gold greebly in, in the bottom piece. So I'll let you do that at home. <laughs> you can swing as hard as you want. But this, you know, this is just for functionality. So this shows you. I got this kind of coming off the emitter here. I thought it looked cool. We'll turn the blade off, hold the button down to cycle through sound fonts. This is going to take us a little bit doing this. That's okay. We're going to, we can, we can fire up, we can fire up the stock fonts if you want, but I figure you just want to see the ones that you have me put on there. So we'll just cycle to those. Stand by. <laughs> Shouldn't be too much longer. That took forever. <laughs> so, tragedy. I gave you a responsive blade on this. So it's a red blade, but while you're moving it, you're gonna get that color change. I just thought that was pretty cool. And we'll turn it off. And we'll go to the next one. So this is second sister. This is two of the four that you had me put on here. Same thing, I just thought that was pretty dope. We'll turn it off. And then we'll go to the next one, number three of four. Emperor. This is more of a, just a solid blade style for the Emperor, maybe a slight flicker, um, but just a little something different. And then the last sound font you had me put on here. It is obvious that this Count Dooku. This is actually the one we started with. And then we'll hold the button to turn it off. And then um, we'll just take the blade out real quick. That's pretty much the functionality of your Sabre. Um, it's a really solid build. This thing um, is just real solidly built. I, the, the chassis that I had to use, the, the two different chassis, they're put in there super snug. Um, so yeah, if you got any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, this guy will go out to you in the mail tomorrow. Thanks.